In 2009, while diving off the islands of Thailand around the famous Maya Bay, we discovered a coral rehabilitation project. The dive center and local villagers of PP Island Village Resort have created a coral nursery. This nursery, they hope, will help to replace some of the coral that has been lost due to damage from human interaction and from the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Donor coral is taken from fast-growing types such as staghorn. The coral grows in a nursery and then once it is long enough it is transplanted to a reef. The nursery is located not far from the resort. This way divers can easily access it by motorboat or even kayak to perform regular monitoring. Yes, there's one of the flags out there, between the two flags. Hello, my name is Jörg Saad, I'm from Germany and I'm a diving instructor in Pippi Island. And I'm Yvonne from Dusburg, I'm from Holland, and I'm a diving instructor as well. So we're here now at a reef that is called Lo Bagao, which is part of the Pippi um, Marine National Park, and we are visiting our coral rehabilitation project. Okay, so we are now in our coral nursery. Yeah, it's part of the coral rehabilitation project that we do. Uh, we do that together with the um, Phuket Marine Biology Center. So we have here um, a floating nursery on five meters, about 15 feet below the surface, where we uh, plant um, staghorn pieces of staghorn corals that we first uh, took away from, uh, from uh, the, the, the reef here, just next to it. Uh, we plant them there and we keep them there for about a year. And after that year we're going to transplant them to reefs that has been you know, affected by the tsunami uh, or other damages done on the reef. That's the project that we do. Okay, so what we do is we're going to break coral, corals, healthy corals from, from, uh, from donor corals about this size, or I would say about 2 or 3 centimeters long. And then we put them on plastic tubes and we put those plastic tubes into a square mesh uh, and then we plant it on our, on our nursery on five meters and that's where they grow and they grow rapidly in one year really fast yeah, they're going to be like three or four times as big as they have been once they've planted and what happens with the donor coral the donor coral just keeps on growing it's like a plant so no, no problems with that we mark all those donor corals as well to, to monitor them and we find out there's no damage done to the donor corals at all great thank you and how successful is this program uh, you know, it's just the first, the first uh, cycle that we have. We're doing it one, second one year, year, second year now. We're going in the second year. Um, in terms of like mortality or so, we have much more than about 80% uh, that survives. And now we just planted them a couple of months ago to the reef, so we have to monitor them before we can say anything about you know about the success of this program. And you want to start involving some of the visitors? Yes. The idea why we do that is not to to, to build entirely new reefs. Actually, the idea firsthand is. Uh, to raise awareness, uh, you know, for the, lo for the locals and as well by our guests, uh, and uh, you know, tell them you know the coral reefs are really fragile, you know, um, reefs, and, and and so they need need, need to, uh, somebody needs to take care about those things. And Yvonne, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, we have already. I don't know if you dived there already in Hinklang. There we made already this whole new reef. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So and you see then already like when you place them back that it's incredible how fast it actually grows. Yeah? So I think like when we placed them they were like only like this big, like ten centimeter. When you were there probably as well a couple of days ago you see already they're already fifteen centimeters high. And what you said, eighty to ninety percent which survives, which is The divers have entered the water and they'll now give you a small tour of the coral nursery.
The divers are now moving away from the coral nursery and towards the reef where the corals that have been transplanted now live. This video was recorded just following a storm, so the visibility in the water is not very clear. If you'd like to see some more videos of Thailand and the beautiful reefs, please watch some of our other videos under Liquid Image Co. on YouTube. We are now at Tonsai Bay on our journey back from PP Island. We can see that five years after the tsunami, life has returned to almost normal. The people of Thailand were amazing and we'd like to thank them for making our stay so wonderful. And thank you for watching.